Hi, this is Tim Coburn with TimCoburnPhoto.com and today I'm going to teach you how to shoot dance portraits. I think dance portraits are probably one of the most difficult things to shoot in photography because you come across this kind of paradox where you have photography which is still motionless and then you have dance which is all about movement and you're trying to bring these two together to create motion in your still photograph. The first way is called anticipated movement. This is basically capturing someone in motion. If a dancer is jumping up in the air, you're catching them there. If a dancer is spinning around on their toes, you catch them there. The way to test this is to look at the photo and think, what happens if I hit play? What happens if I have this photo and it's a video and I hit play all of a sudden? Is this person going to fall onto the ground? Are they going to crash on the ground and break their leg? If they are, then you've got your photo. If it looks like it's impossible to hold that position, then you have created movement in your image. The other way to create movement in your photo is to have what's called a blurry outline. Basically, you're slowing down your shutter speed to create a blurry image. When a dancer is moving, you hold your camera still, use a tripod if you have to, slow down your shutter speed, and it's going to create a blurred movement of the dancer. This is going to create motion in your image. When you're shooting a dancer, especially on stage, you're going to want to get a camera that has a reputation for taking great images at high ISOs. This is because when they're on stage, usually it's pretty dark for your camera. So you're going to want one that has minimal noise when you're shooting at high ISOs. 90% of dance performances won't allow you to use a flash on stage. So you're going to want a lens that's pretty fast. 2.8 or faster would be great. In addition to setting your white balance, also set the saturation of your camera to as low as possible. Digital cameras and gels don't really mix too well. Usually you get some kind of neon effect, so set your saturation all the way down. You can always bump it up in post anyway. In addition to a fast lens, you're going to want to get a long focal length as well, something like 85 millimeters or longer. The reason for this is you're not going to be able to be right up there on the stage. You're probably going to be right off the stage or in the audience somewhere. Also, you're going to want to set your white balance. Most of the lights used on stage are tungsten lights, fluorescent lights. These are all different colors. Your mind and your eye automatically adjust for these colors, but your camera can't. Fluorescent lights are a little green, tungsten lights are a little orange, so you're going to want to set your white balance based on the type of lights that are used. If you're not sure, set it on automatic. When you're shooting the dancer, it's a good idea to shoot at a high frame rate. Some cameras call this burst mode. Basically, your camera takes a bunch of pictures within a couple of seconds to give you the best possible frame. For example, I've got my Nikon D3 set up to this. You point your camera to the dancer, watch them as they're dancing, and when you're ready to take your picture, hold down your shutter, and you've got 12 frames, and one of those frames is bound to be a good picture. And a couple of quick tips to make your portraits even better. Use what's called panning. Basically, you hold your camera and you follow the dancer as they're going. This is going to make the dancer in focus, but the background out of focus. Another idea is to not only shoot the dancer as full body. Dance involves the whole body. How many times have you seen a picture of a ballerina dancing and you only see the feet? Shoot the body parts, only from the shoulders up. Maybe shoot only the feet moving. Maybe as the feet are moving across the stage, pan your camera with the feet to get that blurry movement motion. Once again, this is Tim Coburn with timcoburnphoto.com, and I just taught you how to take the best possible dance portraits.